Hi, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com. I'm pleased to be sharing my tutorial with you today and we're going to make this gorgeous little pop-up card which says happy birthday. It's got balloons stamped in the front and it uses some of the free celebration DSP on the on the front and a little hot air balloon and a sentiment that says time to put out this tiny fire while we sing you a song and of course the song is happy birthday so let's get on and I'll show you how I made that today and if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel which is called Sandra Ronald thank you let's move on with this and make a start so I am starting today and I have got the same celebration free DSP and I've got a piece of watermelon wonder cardstock and this measures 11 and a half inches by 5 inches and it is scored at 5 and 3 quarters and we just burnish the edges of that so that's that piece then we've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock which measures 10 and a half inches by four and a half inches and we are now going to run that through the big shot in a moment and the DSP that goes on the front of the card measures five and a quarter by four and a half and we've got two pieces of DSP that go on the inside of the card and they measure four and a half inches by five eighths of an inch and you need two of them. So now we're going to cut out our little pop-up with the big using the big shot. So I'll just go over and get that in. To make my pop-up card, we are going to use the party pop-up thinlet framelit dies. You get two in the set. One says hip hip hooray. These little tags here uh, mark your halfway mark so that you know where to lay it on your card. So we're going to get the one again that says happy birthday. For this you will need your big shot with your base plates, your multi-purpose platform and on that you will need a precision base plate and your whisper white card so my halfway mark on, on the inside measures down here so with this tab in place we turn that over that way you put your tab at the halfway mark make sure that you've got about the same distance let me move that in. Make sure you've got the, about the same distance from here to there. Position your plate on the top and we're going to run that through. And I'm just going to run that through twice to make sure that it cuts out that detail so that's cut that out so let's move that all off get rid of that And now I'm going to use my dye brush. This is a very useful tool for these detailed framelits. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rub it over the happy birthday bit to try and get those little bits of card out of there. And you can see that they're nearly all out. So that's all those out. A couple more there. And then we're going to get rid of those bits in the bin. And very carefully, we're going to just pull off 
our die and there you have it perfect put the die back over there that's the way get these little bits off here so then you need to pull this part out and fold on that line outwards because obviously you want this to come outwards and then we're going to fold our card inwards there and just burnish those edges make sure that your edges line up perfectly flush and fold and burnish that right so that's the inside of our card done, card done and now we're just going to do some stamping of our little hot air balloons and our sentiments so um, you, I've got Night of Navy ink and Watermelon Wonder ink and Mint Macaron all of these colours are in our designer papers so it makes sense to to use those colours and what have I done? I've prepped up on my block I've used the birthday banners stamp set and I've prepped up the balloon on there and we are going to stamp some little balloons let me just move that so that you can see what I'm doing and we're going to start with our mint macaron I think our lightest colour one over there and I'm just going to get my sponge foam pad because it does make a difference when you're using photopolymer stamps into the watermelon wonder And now the Knight of Navy, like that. And then our sentiment. I've taken this one of the sentiments from, where have I taken it from? The same stamp set that says eat all the cake. That's this one here. onto my block. Let's eat all the cake and we are going to stamp that in the watermelon wonder. Stamp that down here. We're also going to stamp it up here. Eat all the cake. I didn't stamp that very well, did I? Never mind, you'll stamp it a lot better. And then we're going to we're going to you put the sentiment it's your big day. Put that on the block. And we're going to use Knight of Navy for that. And we're going to put that down here. And up here. Now I did colour in the candles with the my markers, um, 
and I'll do that for the photos but at the moment I'm going to leave that because of the timing on the video we don't want the video going on for too long so that's the inside pop-up heart and I think that's rather cute and we're now going to stick that down but first off I've forgotten about the sentiment so this is the sentiment that's across the front of my card and I've already prepped up this little banner that's that one there and I've cut it out using the matching framelits and the sentiment that says time to put out this tiny fire while we sing you a song you'll see that that's tapered to fit perfectly inside here well I thought it was what's gone wrong there I know wrong way round perfect right so night of navy ink for that don't forget the foam pad Sandra ink that up sorry if I get my head in the way And there we have it. That fits in there nicely, doesn't it? Right, let's make our card up now. Put this in away. So I'm going to start off by putting my insert in. Hold that back up. And we're going to put some glue on this side. So I will do this half at, half at a time so that we don't get into a sticky mess. So line that up with your halfway score line, making sure that it's equal distance away. half of our card and that should now fold down on itself And give that a fold with our bone folder. So that's our pop up, very pretty. Then our little strips go across here um, like that. It 
just finishes off that edge nicely. Had I have thought I could have done these in a slightly different colour, because now I notice that I've done it with the melon mount with the watermelon wonder side up. Uh, with my very useful glue eraser. Perfect. So that's finished the inside. I think you'll agree that's lovely. And now we're going to just finish off the front. So DSP goes on here. realised I haven't cut a piece. I don't think I've cut a piece from the front. So I don't know what I've done with that. But are we going to add white? I think I might add white. No. Navy. Navy. I need a piece of navy so I have to go and get that. Just quickly measure my measurements. That measures one and a half by four and a half. So one and a half by four and a half. Four and a half. And one and a half. goes on here. So let's glue that on. And we put that on leaving I suppose about five eighths of an inch that side. And we have our sentiment that goes over here. And we're going to pop that up on dimensionals. And that just leaves our little hot air balloon. And I've taken my hot air balloon from Summer Sorbet stamp set, mainly because I had it and it matches perfectly the balloon shape on the front of the card. So using a piece of Whisper White cardstock, I'm going to do my balloon today in mint macaron or mint macaroon, however you say it. Stamp that down and up. And then we're going to fussy cut this. Just take a couple of seconds to do that. 
And I just felt that it finished it off nicely. Cute little stamp set this one is. Summer sorbet, lots of different things suitable for many different occasions. And I thought, well, if you've got it, use it. So that's my balloon. Let's get rid of the ink. And on a couple of dimensionals, we're going to put our little balloon. very pretty. A very pretty little card that. So if you would like any of the details of products I've used click on the down arrow bar if you're watching this in YouTube that will take you to the project details which you can click on to or if you click on shop online that will take you over to artypapercrafters.com where you will find lots more ideas and inspiration. So bye for now. I'll be back in a couple of days with another project to share with you. I hope you've enjoyed this project and please Please don't forget to click on the playlist at the end for more of my videos like this. Thank you. Bye.